Hello everyone and welcome back to Civ 6 Gathering Storm where we continue our playthrough as the Incans and uh, we're trying to lock up a science victory. I'm joined by my co-host this afternoon, my three month old son. So you may hear some background noise uh, as I try to babysit him and get this knocked out because I'd like to go on to bigger and brighter things. Yes, I would. Um, Alright, so clearly that guy... I don't remember what happened there. A flood. Was it a flood? Maybe it was a flood. Maybe he got pillaged. I don't know. It's been a few days. It's been more than a few days. It's actually been close to a week. So let's start. Alright, so we got that guy fully... Yeah, we've got him fully promoted. And then... Mm, I do believe we want to promote this person. Yep, there we go. Tax collector, which is going to help us make more money. And there we go. Okay, archaeologist. Hey, it's okay, pal. There you go. Archaeologist. Ah, yes, we're waiting for the shipwreck technology because that's just what we need to do. Oh, you kicked it off again. Should help with the culture and um, I believe, yeah, we've got our first landing pad. And in terms of science, Victor, how are we doing? We have launched the Earth satellite. That's right. We know the entire map. And we're repairing the workshop. And I wonder if I can go ahead and build the dams. I think we've built some dams. And we do have some hydroelectric power. And other things. Once we can get solar farms and some offshore farms, power shouldn't be a problem. Tourism from great works of this type are doubled. Um, how about artifacts? And then we also want to launch Mars Colony. And we'll vote for ourselves for Diplo Points. Sure, we'll do the World Games. I prefer to sink most of my votes into that. And we'll sink the rest there. And yeah. Alright, let's see how the rest of the world votes. Let's see. Alright, so, artifact. Good. Manhattan Project. Not great. Not a big deal. Um, okay, well, that's... That just is what it is. In one turn, we'll be able to go salvage some of those shipwrecks. We desperately need to get our factories back online. Um, we could actually build a nuclear power plant here, which I don't think we want to do because we've already got one. This city desperately needs amenities. So, ooh, I don't really know what to do. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't. We could launch the moon landing in 20 turns there. I don't think that's what we want to do. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt to build another spy. And then down here, you're our space city. You're 24 turns, but you don't have any power. Um, oh, buddy. It's okay. Forgive the background noise. Um... Hey, it's okay. Yeah. What to do over here? Oh, you can... Yeah, let's go to the food market. And keep pressing it on. Alright, so... You want a joint war? I remember this. This realm was rather unique for me. Largely in the sense that everybody wants to fight a war. Hey. Hey. Alright, and yeah, they also want my artifacts, which is 
a bit of a pity. It's a bit of a pity. Yes, it is. All right, so we earn one error score because cultural heritage, which is awesome. Um, oh, sweet. There are some shipwrecks that we may be able... Oh, wow, there are more shipwrecks than I thought that we can actually get to that aren't... Okay, so this is going to work out rather nicely. All right, and we'll tell this lovely gentleman to go right here. Good. This is good. This is really, really, really good. In fact, you know what? It, we should probably look at our government type. We are a democracy, so that makes perfectly good sense. I do think that it is worth our time to go for the space race cards. Hey, it's okay, bud. And we have some envoys that we need to send. It's... Hey, bud. I'm going to get to you. I'm going to get to you. I promise. All right. So. Let's see what else we can do here. All right. City losing loyalty. Is it really losing... Uh, let's see. So, pressure, happiness... We've got to do something about our happiness level. How many turns? A lot of turns. In fact, so many turns that we could probably technically play like, oh, there are 500 turns in a Civ game and that's 6,000, 12 Civ games and some change. So we got to vote again. Apparently it was on some sort of world disaster that we're not privy to. All right, so military emergency against Darius. They really don't like this Darius cat. They don't. They don't like him one bit. All right, so we can repair the nuclear power plant, which is going to be vital. Yes, it's going to be really vital. And other than that, I think that we are. Still sitting relatively pretty. Oh, yeah, we've got our engineer up here who is our space race project engineer. Um, he can help bolster and boost some things. That's right. We had a spy in here, and I think we need to protect. That's what we'll do. We'll protect that zone with a spy as well. I think long term, that's the right thing to do. All right, so he wants... <laughs> no, I'm not giving you my artifacts, man. We've done been over this. You ain't getting no artifacts. And you're not getting that either. What a bad deal. That just across the board is a bad deal. And it's unfortunate. But that's that's the AI. That's the one thing that I've noticed about this is I'm not really crazy about the deals that the AI is giving the players. And it's it's a little bit frustrating. All right, we got one more turn on the repair of that power plant, which should further help us get some power. All right, let's extract this. We'll get some, apparently get error score for that. Um, let's take that artifact and then keep on going. So yeah, there we go. We're going to hit another golden age if we're not already in one. If we're not already in a golden age. I think I'd... Let's see, are we in an age? What what age? We are in a, a current age. We're in a dark age. So, as a result of that, we're actually going to go into a heroic age, which is going to be awesome. It's going to be really awesome. All right, so now they can start on the whole moon landing which will further boost one time with this guy. And there you go. Wow. I didn't think that was going to just automatically get that to us, but So this space race the so let's see the space race project which launches a large rocket to land a human on the moon grants a one-time culture bonus equal to 10 times your science per turn and thus marks really 
holy smokes. So 10 times my science is, wow, that's 3,000 culture. Holy smokes. So basically we can take anything at this point, which we probably want to take the most costly thing. Well, it's all kind of banked, so we knew that that's what we're going for. And boom, just like that, we figured that out. So now that they've done this, can we actually do the whole Mars colony thing? No, we can't. Is there a building that we need? Probably wouldn't hurt to start building some of those amphitheaters. And we can extract another artifact, which will take Babylon. And there you go, there you've got a long sword out of that. So they're kind of confused as to why we want to go to space. We want to go to space because we want to win. We want to win, guys. We need to win. Yes, we do. We want to win. All right, so Space Race Civic unlocks that, which is pretty nice and this I'm assuming is our new spa and we want to send him to our capital and we want to get him doing some good things for us all right civic time holy cow well um, I know that I want to go towards the synthetic technocracy so we'll just start making our way towards that since we got such a huge boost huge they're good on housing um, I mean I guess we can do some train housing right train athletes not train house train housing what am I talking about uh, I know you're probably wondering that because I just wondered what in the world came out of my mouth they could actually build a commercial hub and I really wouldn't cry about that they on the other hand build a zoo <laughs> you can never go wrong with a zoo we went to the zoo today and the kids absolutely loved it in fact I absolutely loved it got to see some really awesome animals We did. Yes, sir, Bob, we did. All right, so there you go, rapid development. And what did we build here? Oh, trade route. Let's just repeat the route that we've got going. Um, ba -ba 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 -da -ba. What do y'all have that y'all could use? Uh, well, there's actually a lot of stuff. I do think at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I think we'll train athletes here too to try to participate in the world games. And we'll just keep doing our thing because that's all we can do. Well, I mean, that's a terrible deal. I'm not giving up two artifacts. That is an absolutely atrocious thing to do. All right, so we'll extract an artifact there. We'll keep on... Actually, we're gonna recondition that reactor. Train athletes, and let's make it that. There we go. And keep on moving forward. In a few turns, do we still have that engineer? No, that engineer fully expended. Uh, that's okay though. That is a-okay. All right, so this is our spy. We want to confirm his placement and we want him to counter spy there. Will. It's okay, buddy. All right. And here we will train more athletes. 
I know. It's so hard being a little guy and you're and you're teething. Maybe if I can hold you, would that make a difference? Yeah. Would it? It's okay. You want to try to sit up? Is that it? Maybe that'll help. Ah, let's see. What can we research? Well, um, da 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 da. We got one more thing that we need. Big time. I believe it's going to be down here. Because I think the last tech that we're going to want is somewhere down the line. So we're going to go ahead and pick those up. And in the meantime, what to do with you? Keep training athletes, clearly. Have you extract an artifact? And we'll take one of Harold Hadrada's artifacts from the sea. And I think Alliance. Yeah, we'll accept that deal, Chandragupta. That is a really good uh actually thing we want we want as many alliances as we can all right we'll have him renew his mission repeat that trade route uh oh, we can launch the mars colony now so we're going to train athletes and we're going to tell y'all to go right there and mooch off someone else's artifacts Alright, so yeah, we we'll be friends, Robert the Bruce. Uh and no, we don't want a war. War is the one thing we've been trying to avoid all game and we have. Which is really amazing. And we got a ton of money. I need to go see if I can upgrade units. It's just been a little not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so we're reconditioning the reactor there. You could launch the Mars colony in 20 turns. I think I'm going to let you do that. Because y'all got power. All that other great stuff. Hopefully someone won't try to bomb that. And I think our units, to tell you the truth, are... Honestly, yeah. Our units are as up to date as they're going to get. Period. End of discussion. So we're now just clicking buttons to advance. Sort of, kind of. All right, please tell me. Oh, that does not exhaust you. Wow. Um, let's go with Antioch. Okay. Oh, that did exhaust you. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we have made Pedro upset. We have made Pedro upset. We have enraged the... Oh, we have more great people than we do. What's what's new, Pedro? Tell me why you're really upset. Um, Wilhelmina, I don't trust you. I feel like you're going to be a threat to my well-being. I really do. All right, let's keep training athletes. Let's keep training athletes. And we're at time. So we're going to go ahead and cut it up, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed it, and we will be back in the next episode as we continue to slowly press along towards a science victory. Y'all be good.